Hello to my subscribers and new viewers. I hope you'll join us soon as well. Today, I'm taking you on a short walk to a place located just 8 miles southwest of Poole in Dorset. This is a charming village known mainly for its geological rock layers, with a population of just 90 residents. Ahead of us is Kimmeridge. The first and mandatory stop on our walk is the 12th century St. Nicholas of Myra Church. It is one of the oldest churches in the area, preserving many original architectural features from that era. The church has been a central part of the local community's religious life for centuries. Dedicated to Saint Nicholas of Myra, a patron saint of sailors, it reflects the importance of the sea to this coastal village. The 18th century bell tower, a later addition, seems to contrast slightly with the older structure of the building. The village's history dates back to prehistoric times with traces of Iron Age settlements and Roman fortifications. The name Kimmeridge likely comes from the Anglo-Saxon words Cymric and Ridge, referring to a ridge belonging to the Cymric people. Some theories suggest the name could have Celtic origins, linked to the area's geography.
The village is part of the Jurassic Coast, a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its rich fossil deposits. Kimmeridge clay, a type of sedimentary rock, is named after the village and is a significant source of fossil fuels. The traditional residential buildings in Kimmeridge are primarily constructed from locally quarried stone, giving them a distinctive rustic appearance, with many featuring slate or thatched roofs typical of rural Dorset architecture. The village's architecture seamlessly blends historical elements with modern renovations, maintaining a consistent traditional character throughout the area.
John Clavel, a well-known 17th century poet and writer, was associated with Kimmeridge, where he spent part of his life after rehabilitation. Clavel was a colorful character who gained fame through his written works, as well as his turbulent past as a criminal. His connections to Kimmeridge are still remembered in literary contexts today. If you plan to explore both the village and the coastline, the best place to park your car or motorcycle seems to be the parking area near the bay, close to Kimmeridge Bay Toll Road. An alternative way to get from the village to the bay is to take the scenic footpath that runs parallel to the main road. This path offers beautiful views of the surrounding hills and coastline, making it a popular choice among tourists. Walking along this path allows for a peaceful stroll in the midst of nature, away from the traffic. Reaching Kimmeridge Bay is a fantastic end to our journey, especially when the weather is good and the bay exudes extraordinary charm. The sunlight gives this place an extra glow. Kimmeridge Bay is a true gem in the landscape, shining especially bright on sunny days.
This World War II bunker, designed as an observation post, was meant to protect against potential German invasion. Now tilted, it shows the effects of coastal erosion gradually moving closer to the sea. Today, it attracts tourists and photographers who appreciate its stark beauty in the scenic bay setting. Clavel Tower, built in 1830 on a cliff overlooking Kimmeridge Bay, is an iconic landmark of the region and an inspiration for writers such as Phyllis Dorothy James. In 2006, the tower was moved 25 meters inland to protect it from erosion. Today, it offers accommodation for two people, providing exceptional views of the surroundings and coastline. Finally, I encourage you to take a look at the panoramic views of the coastline as well as the incredible seabed. And of course, enjoy a few photos I managed to take during my short stay around Kimmeridge. Thanks for watching. See you soon.